Lazy Peon New World video it was two days ago? My timing. World, the game that in 2021 provided the MMO community with some of the most entertaining meme material in years. I played the crap out of this game at launch, but like 90% of the player base, didn't stick around past the first two months. New World's Endgame back at launch just wasn't good, and if I was to explain why, this intro would drag on for five minutes. In April 2022, I returned to the game to see what improvements had been made, check out the latest content and meme on the game a little bit more. To my surprise though, after I made the New World Keck W video, I actually stuck around and I've been playing it somewhat consistently ever since. <laughs> during my full review for New World, I said that I always expected it to be a game that will pull an ESO on us, in the sense that it was a disaster at launch, but over the years with many updates would improve to eventually be a solid MMO. Now, almost one year since the initial launch, New World might have actually turned a corner. For the past two hey, months, Gordon. the game has seen significant growth in its player base and has fully stopped bleeding players from its launch issues. Plus 24% in August and plus 15% so far in September, ever since the news broke about the game's first major expansion, which is right around the corner. Brimstone Sands. This completely free expansion brings with it a massive new desert zone, which is said to contain three zones worth of content. The, the highly anticipated Great Sword weapon, new quests, new dungeons, a complete revamp to the new player experience, town redesigns, more variety with enemy types, and a lot more. This is in addition to New World fixing a lot of its launch problems already, adding 3v3 arena, better endgame progression, a group finder, and multiple new dungeons. In this video, we're going to talk about the new expansion, head over to the PTR to check out the revamp, and I'll hopefully help you figure out if this is a game worth giving another chance. But first, sponsor. Geralt and Yennefer from The Witcher 3 have just arrived and Ezio since. Just look at all of this picture of the, the PTR and Geralt and Yennefer Arena now and try both Geralt and Yennefer free for three days and use the promo code on screen for incredible gifts. Download now. Before we jump on the PTR and check out some of the new stuff, let me give you a quick idea of how many issues New World has fixed or is in the process of fixing over the past year. This is a picture of the con- I just realized such a huge difference between like YouTube sponsors and like and like a Twitch streaming sponsor. Like a YouTube sponsor is like a rip the band-aid off, like let's get let's handle this shit type of thing, right? Lasts 30 seconds to a couple minutes. A streaming sponsor is a slow burn two to four hours long. <laughs> so it's like you have to be mindful of uh you know what I mean? If it's going to be really, really bad content, you know what I'm saying? You can't just toss out anything, basically, right? <laughs> Bonds list I mean, you can. End of my full review in November 2021. But this a lot is a longer picture sticking of with the it. same cons list, but with notes for everything they've fixed since. Just look at all of this stuff they've fixed. You can pause the video here to get a good look and have a read. Out of the 32 cons I listed at the end of that review, They've already fixed, or are in the process of fixing, 18 of them, with a few things I'm not sure of. That's absolutely massive progress. And on top of that, they've also added the Tempest Heart Expedition, which in my opinion is one of the most visually impressive dungeons I've ever seen in an MMO. The Barnacles and Black Powder Expedition, which I haven't gotten around to trying yet. They've added 3v3 arena, the blunderbuss and void gauntlet weapons with the greatsword right around the corner. They completely revamped the endgame progression system and added a thing called gypsum and expertise, which is a massive improvement over the old system. You no longer need keys to enter dungeons, you can just enter them and enjoy the game. They added a new trade skill called music, which is a nice social activity that brings players together with the benefit of group buffs and the economy is in a much better place now. So what we're going to do now is head over to the PTR to check out the new level 1 to 25 leveling experience, which has been completely reworked with revamped starting towns and the addition of the Greatsword. Here we are on the New World PTR to check out the new new player experience. Spawned the new, on the new beach, player experience. Bluffs, the New World new, new player experience. Different now. I'm really looking forward to exploring it. A bunch of other players checking out the PTR as well. As we're going with Greatsword, 
this all repiling all of our stats into strength. Wholesome chat. I just want to play the new content. I love new worlds. Don't we all? Since day one here. Feels good, man. <laughs> This area is different than what I remember it. I don't remember fighting corrupted mobs on the beach back at launch. We've already got our first amulet. Straight away, the beginner quest rewards seem different than launch. Going into another corrupted area. Wait, is this a different mob type? I don't think I've is, ever uh, seen a mob that is looks Lazy like this PM before. Is still in, in Malaysia? Was it Malaysia? It's like a female corrupted sailor. You know the game struggled with mob diversity at launch? When as soon as you see a mob that looks different, you immediately notice oh, it. Oh, Thailand. Why think in Malaysia? Distance? It's a castle. Thailand. That wasn't there before. Are you still there? So it doesn't take long at all before you start to feel the effects of this new new player experience. Okay, what's this? Great sword. Yes, please. That's what we want. Dude, look at it. It's so big, but it's clipping right through my shield. Goodbye, shield. You had a good run. <laughs> Feels chonky. First ability, let's go with cross cut. Cross cut. So during the starting experience, you basically find one of each weapon just laying around on the floor from various weapon chests. I didn't so fucking you don't know have that. To wait a long time to start training the weapon mastery that you're interested in. I'm New stupid. Ability, relentless rush. Let me guess, it rushes me forward. Ooh, it rushes me forward with a spin. Quest complete, level seven, new chest piece. Straight away, we're looking like an adventurer. Oh wow, if we look in the distance from here, we can see the new Monarch's Bluffs. And wow, that looks bloody epic. That's huge. Whenever I play any MMO, I think it's cool to look in the distance and see giant castle towers. It always gives you like a sense of awe and excitement to actually reach that city for the first time. Bloody hell, the entrance of this place looks so different. Before it was like a copy-paste wooden fort. But now it's an actual castle. In before everyone moves their player housing to Monarch's Bluffs now because the buildings just look better. Quick look at the eastern exit of the city. And our first MSQ outside of Monarch's Bluff doesn't take us halfway across the map like it used to. Additionally, there's also a fast travel point fairly close to where I need to go. As you can see from the map, they've also added a ton of fast travel points all throughout the world. So you can no longer call New World a walking simulator. Additionally, yes, they've also confirmed that they will add mounts in the future at some point. So I know that's something that a lot of people have been requesting pretty much since launch. And in the quest, once again, the NPC isn't halfway across the map like they used to be. And the quest flow so far has all made perfect sense. And that's level 12, absolutely blazing through the levels early on. The Great Sword's so fun to use that I'm just randomly killing mobs in the world because it's fun that's how it should be got ourselves some green plate armor with some constitution starting to look a little bit more like a knight what's this rumble on the docks objective started is this a random event i've just come into the area and a green quest's popped up that's never happened before there's actually a ship arriving on the horizon they've made some significant improvements to the questing i'm guessing this is like a multiplayer quest that anyone in the area just automatically picks up a moving ship in new worlds before it's the first time which is crazy really considering the theme of the game so the boat's crashed into the dock a few mobs have spawned some other players are turning up so it's like a wave defense style thing captain fyodor himself it's cool to just go into an area and have this random quest pop up really unexpected also helps break up the main quest quite a bit i really hope to see more of those green quests pop up whilst i'm doing this msq how cool does that look though? Great axe and great sword. Turncoat alligator. It's another different mob as well. There's so many different mobs added to the new player experience compared to what they used to be. It's nice that these supply caches and crates that you used to loot constantly for every quest, they've now become like an optional thing that you can choose to loot or ignore for a bit of extra coin or- I remember that shit resources. in the beta. As oh my God, every quest is exactly Wait, the same. You used to go for like the loot the stupid We boxes. need to make new world great again. Are you a Democrat? Shit, Are I've been over his Republican? face the whole time. What are they talking about? Mm -mm -mm. Do you support Trump? I'm playing on the EU servers. What are they talking about? I can't Sorry. wait to join Outpost Rush once this update goes live. Everyone you guys didn't even notice, is right? going to be using a great sword, including myself. I Usually was only it myself. I'm sorry. In new worlds, but I ain't healing great sword meta. No way. This thing's going to be so OP at launch. I ain't dealing with that. 
It seems like I need to parkour my way inside this temple. I love the way all of these rocks are placed, so you actually need to do a bit of jumping and climbing. Playing to the strengths of the game, really. Wait, I'm gonna have to navigate through lasers. Here the game's actually making me utilize the crouching and crawling system. Something it never did during the old leveling experience. Except for that one time during a dungeon called Starstone Barrows. Priddaloo Farms. Wait, what? There's a random castle here. He skipped in right there because he died, area. dude. Hundred, well, bro. Certainly not. Hundred. <laughs> Sticks a laser out in the environment there. like a sore thumb, though, doesn't it? It's kind of crazy, really, but this random questing area that they've added in the world is a better castle than the fortress you defend in Territory Wars. The layout of it's more interesting, it's bigger, it looks more epic. This looks like the kind of place that you want to defend for a Territory War. So hopefully at some point the devs also give a little bit of love to the fortresses. I remember back at launch, you always used to feel good when you'd see some iron ore in the world because it was so hotly contested. Good bottleneck material for crafters a while ago. Dead Man's Cove used to be a group grind spot, so let's see if they've actually revamped this at all. Yeah, I think so. Level 17 mobs. All of the mobs here used to be level 25 elites, and this used to be the best spot in the game for grinding weapon XP, but now it's been reworked to be just a normal low-level POI. I'm kind of glad, to be honest, because I spent hours upon hours grinding out all of my weapons to level 20 here, and I still have a little bit of PTSD over this location. This new player experience actually gives quest rewards with relevant stats on it. Like in the past, quest rewards were terrible. You would get a rapier with a completely useless stat, for example, like a rapier with focus, something that doesn't scale with the weapon at all. And this was constant throughout the old leveling experience, but seems as though they've fixed that now. Seems like they've fixed pretty much everything that I used to have a problem with, to be honest. Wholesome comment in the chat. Completely forgot how good the game is. It's nice to see a bit of positivity around New World for once, after months and months of the game being memed on and people just shitting on it constantly. Big props to Amazon Game Studios for one, not making the game pay to win after an entire year, and two, continuing to update the game and make improvements, not just giving up on it. Defeat Sir Garwin. He's defended by nine. Chad, I think I figured out where the 70 30 split went, okay. dude. Wasn't expecting that. And finally, we've ascended to the top. And what awaits us is a boss battle. Sir Garwin. I guess this is like the climax of the main story of this zone. Once again, another unique mob. He actually has boss mechanics. Now let's finish him off. Kill him. You what? Mate, I've got to run so far. There's no way. It's time to get serious. Round ah. two. Do I need to smash this altar? Oh, I think I do. Maybe that's where I made the mistake the last time. I didn't break his altar. Boss dead. Collect his treasure. Just to reiterate the point I made earlier about fortresses in this game. This is a quest related POI in the world. Big giant fortified castle. This is the fortress of which guilds fight over to control the entire territory. Well, Feels let's see what he's doing over here. Let's skip a little. We're skimming. Do a bit of it looks different. And get a bit of gypsum that way. Just been making sense. Healer. The one hero that we need. Let's go, boys. And Switch the great changes sword. quite a bit. Big damage. Man, he's oh. already PvPing. It's an absolute bloodbath. Let's wait for him to group up and we're going to go in and we're going to spin to win. Spin. Oh. Spin. There's a reason I don't play melee DPS in New World. That's enough outpost rush for me. Here it is. So this is the new Halloween event boss. What the hell are these things? So we need to kill these pumpkin monsters to summon the main boss. Wow, that's a cool looking boss. I don't know if we've got enough to defeat him. We can try. Oh, I, I, I need to loot these pumpkin heads. What, throw them at him? Easier said than done, really, isn't it? That did some damage. That, that contributed. Wait, we failed, and he's just disappeared. Lesson learned. Don't engage the event boss unless you're sure you've got enough people to kill it. Okay, apply the desert potion. And with that applied, we can now enter the brimstone sands without instantly getting ticked down to the sandstorm. Here it is, the entrance to the brimstone sands. The great vast desert. Can we gather these cactus? Yes, with an ax. This thing here is a cool structure. Maybe it's a quest POI, an outdoor grind spot, or maybe even a dungeon. Wait, what? Yo, what? 
Does that just randomly pop up every now and again? Spoilers. That's epic. I wonder if you can fight that later. This new zone is absolutely massive, and you don't really get a sense of the scale for the place until you've actually visited it and you're running from each of the towns. Visually, Brimstone Sands is already my favorite zone in the game. I love how the buildings look, the colors, the mob types. I really like that you can see this giant pyramid from pretty much anywhere in the zone, as well as these giant temples and statues that just kind of stick out. Super cool looking place visually. So, heading into another part of Brimstone Sands, and it's very cactusy. What are these little rolling creatures? They're kind of cute. Armadillos. We skin them. Now approaching the main Ooh. settlement of Brimstone Sands. I, I don't know what's going on with those mountain textures back there. That looks uh, a little bit off. It's ruined any screenshot potential we've got here. Looks pretty cool. Obviously without tons of players running around, it feels quite lifeless. Perhaps it needs more NPCs walking around. Onwards towards the pyramid to hopefully find a dungeon group. Yeah, the closer I'm getting to this pyramid, the more epic it looks. Here it is, the entrance to the newest expedition. Let's re-roll to healer, as that's what I'm most experienced in in this game. Okay, so this is the new dungeon. Let's see how difficult it is. Probably not very with us all in max gear. Yo, dude just got one tapped. 100 to zero. And this is the first boss room. Okay, so the first boss is a giant scarab thing that fires lasers. Pretty cool. Probably don't want to stand in front of it, really. Watch out for these orbs that are shooting. It's going to zap people. When he jumps up in the air, you want to be ready to do big heals. Oh, double laser. That was unlucky. You're a god if you can res me. Wow, what a play. Quite a fun boss, really. Not too complicated. Lots of movement. I quite like how you've got this temple peak overlooking everything. I guess that's where the next boss is going to be. Boss number two. Is that a giant tower shield? Oh god, he's summoned bigger mobs now. This is a tough boss. Might be one of the harder encounters I've had in this game as a healer. Nuke the boss. Oh my god, we got him. That was tough. Onwards we go. The final boss room, and what an epic boss room it is. Dude's explaining the boss mechanics, and it seems kind of complicated, but I guess we'll see. He's doing big damage. I'm going to stand back here behind the pillar. So apparently this melee is going to charge whoever's, like, furthest away. Here it is. He's going to charge. He's going to hit his head on that. Phase one down. Not bad. Let's go, team. But soon we're going to have phase three, where we've got to do both phase one and two at the same time. Panicking a little bit, it gets a little bit chaotic. Everyone seems to be like topped up. Oh god, oh god. How am I not dead? I can't, can't, can, can. Have we, have we done it? No way. First try, oh GG. <laughs> that was a good Learning boss. Honestly, all the of moment, the bosses here were pretty good. Nice challenges as a healer. Lots of movement, cool mechanics. The mechanics weren't too complicated. <laughs> they were all quite intuitive. So that was the new dungeon with Brimstone Sands. Overall, pretty that? impressed. This video's about? got to be dragging on pretty long now. So I think that's going to wrap it up for my PTR coverage. So after returning to New World for the past few months, following the recent updates and checking out the PTR, a conclusion. do I think now is a good time to return? Yes, New World has solved a lot of the issues it had back at launch. The game is still absolutely zero pay to win, not even pay for convenience, the new expansion is completely free, and the devs have been grinding away for an entire year making constant improvements to the game. I feel like the MMO community should show AGS some support and give New World another shot. As one, it's got one of the most fair business models in the MMO genre. Buy to play, free expansions, no convenience on the shop. Two, the devs didn't give up, even after losing 98% of the player base at one point. And three, even if you don't stick around long term, jumping on the new expansion hype with fresh start servers will most likely be fun for a while at the very least. So there it is, New World in 2022. Perhaps my prediction about it being the next ESO could actually turn out to be true. The game has a long way to go and the gameplay is still nowhere near as smooth and consistent as I'd like it to be, but you gotta respect progress. What do you think about New World? Are you gonna give the game another shot for the Brimstone Sands expansion and leveling revamp? What else would you like to see changed? Shout out to AFK Arena for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to click the link in the description below to download the game. Social media on screen, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.